All right, guys, we're gonna have a chance to take a look at Farm Sim Kids, the new farming mobile kids type game coming in just a couple of days. Uh, it's our preview look, so of course things can change. This is just something that we're gonna get a chance to look at since we're here at PAX. So let's dive in. And I'll see if I can give you a, a little bit of a voiceover on my impressions of it all and take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at Farm Sim Kids. So we'll just quickly do a quick demo of everything here. We're looking around the main screens. Um, there's a bunch of different tabs down the right side. I've had a couple of minutes to take a quick look at this, but my understanding of the game is still pretty minimal. You can see the first screen was the equipment. The second screen we're looking at right now is our character customizations. And uh, yeah, there's quite a few different options here. You can change your face, you can change your clothes. We've got our tops here, <laughs> nice green. And then we can change our pants. Perfect, and then we go back. You can kind of see on the left, there's actual additions for more characters if you want. Uh, we keep on moving down. We do have a store. It looks like there's a place for possibly DLCs. Uh, looks like there's a pay for option. We got some maps even, which is kind of cool. So you have an option to maybe get some maps at some point in time. Characters, vehicles, all alike. And at the very bottom, you got a place for your videos, which I'm assuming you can record. All right, so there's four different areas you can see here right now. We have uh, the very top. We'll start off there. This is kind of our livestock area. Now the game itself, you can see we do have an objective, it looks like, to collect these pears, I believe they are. Um, on the top you have an inventory and then movies. As we scroll around here, the, the main part of the game, guys, is just kind of a click and point type of game. Um, not anything normal to what we've seen in Farming Simulator, of course. Uh, it's more of a, I don't even know what you want to call it, like a story? Time, I guess. I don't even know how you'd describe it. It's something I've never quite would have expected from uh, Farming Simulator itself, to be perfectly honest. So, the idea is simply there's but there's some objectives at the top that we had to try to accomplish. I have no clue on how we're going to accomplish those. You can see as we just go around, we can pretty much click and move everything on this screen. We got all these all these uh, cattle. We have some pigs. We've got sheep. We got horses. And we can kind of click and move them around. Now I'm assuming that there's some kind of a mission that goes along with each one of them, something we have to do potentially to progress the game. So you can see we've got some milk here. There's gotta be a way to put the milk someplace, right? We've gotta be able to take the milk right down over at the end. And it looks like we have a spot right there, perfect. So we can put our milk away and um, it looks like we can bottle our milk even from here. Okay, there you go. So. There is a little bit of a, a cheat code or a mission up on the top there. You can see the poster, and that'll tell us exactly kind of what we need to do. Cow milk goes into the vat, and we bottle the milk at the bottom. Uh, I'm not sure what to do with it once it's at that point, however. Now we've got these pails. We can move those around, fill those up with water. I'm sure we have to water all our animals. Um, is it full? I think it's already full. Yeah, where's that? Where did it go? I lost it behind the cows. There we go. Yeah, you can see there's milk already in it. I'm going to take this all the way back again and uh, dump it back into the vat. All the way up top. Per is it? I think it's empty. I think it's already empty. That's all done. Yeah, yeah. See, it's already filling. It's filling the... Yeah, there we go. It fills the jar up. Now, once, like I said, once these are done, I have no idea what to do with them at this point. We can just get this in the right spot. Just right... I'm just missing it. There we go. So, I, I guess we probably could put it in our inventory or something along those lines. Um... Not quite sure, but you can see this is the whole point of the game in a way. Like, you just kind of move things around and to progress to the different portions of it. I, my understanding is you do these types of tasks. So these are all our livestock on this particular screen. We've got, of course, the sheep, we've got the cattle, and then you've got the feed here as well for all of these animals. Now, we did see like, some birds at the start here. Can I feed them with anything? I don't think we can, no. I've tried doing this beforehand. I thought maybe we could feed them, and um, I don't have a figure out how to feed them yet. So we do have, what, pig food? It looks like some other types of food there. But I, have, I can't figure out how to feed the birds. <laughs> so we do have yeah, the other bales. We've got pig pig and, and cattle food. Uh, I'm not sure what else we have there. And then, of course, we should have taken it to the chickens. It would have been nice if we would have brought it all the way down. Anyways, well, let's see if we can feed some of these guys. Just bring the... I got the chicken food. We'll see if we can feed it with the chicken food instead. Um, it must be... Oh, and the pigs have it now. And once it's in there, I don't think we can get it out. Let's see if I... This is... Put that over with the sheep. Um, looks like we got a couple more left over. We'll just go... We change about. No, once it's in, they're in. 
yeah, yeah, no, you can't take it out. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it's a way of feeding all the animals, but once you put it in the trough, you're not getting that back out of the trough anymore. You are stuck with what you got. So you gotta bring the animals over, and um, there they go, they feed out the trough once it's there. There you go. Um, for those looking for goats, we do have goats and horses there as well, as you saw. But uh, the feeding of the animals seems a little bit interesting, I'm not sure. It's a little complicated right now. I need to really dive into this to figure it out. So um, there's quite a bit we can possibly do in this. Let's back on out. Let's head over down to the field area, I believe this is. There we go. So we've got our field area. Um, it looks like there's some logging. I hope there's no logging. Oh, there might be some logging right in here, guys. <laughs> Once again, our collectibles are still the same. Um, I'm, I'm hoping we can not do too much logging right now. But here is one of our fields. It looks like um, a garden of sorts. Must be our garden. We can pick up our spade and um, do a little bit of a little bit of field work here. We're just gonna kind of dig some holes. Oh, that's kind of annoying. Get that out of the way. I, think I can dig some holes in here, and then we can put that back away. Grab seeds. What do we want? We got the peas. Let's get carrots. Yeah, yeah, carrots. Carrots will work. Look, we got already planted some. We'll just drag this through, and look at that. We've already planted some carrots. That was that was easy. Now, you can see by the board at the top, it kind of gives you directions on how to do it all. Oh, move that back out of the way. Now we just need to water it all up. And they grow immediately, which is kind of convenient. Perfect. Um, oh, I'm out of water. Can I just fill this back up? I guess, I guess not. How do I fill this back up now? Must be over here at the start. No, nope, nothing down here that I can see. Uh, no, nope, you don't got any water, do you? Nope, we need to find a tap. We need to find some kind of a tap. Put it maybe in the river there, but... Oh, there's one right there. There's one right here. Let's see if we can fill this up. It just needs to be in the right spot once again. Just get it right in the right spot. And, nope, not yet. Let's try again. There we go. Yeah, see now it's got water. Perfect. I, I didn't need too much water left over there. You got some carrots, but how do you... We pick them? Can we, can we harvest these carrots? I don't know how to harvest these yet. It might be time, it might be time related though. Um, what else do we have if we keep on moving down through these field areas? Oh, we've got some more equipment now. And a field, yeah, okay, this, right, that's right. We, have, we do have a field right here in which we can uh, go through. Once again, you can see the signboard. It gives me kind of an idea what we need to do. So bring the tractor in, we kind of cultivate this field to start with. So we're, yeah, cultivating. Prepping the field, we're getting ready for, for planting. Bring it right on back over now. And we should be able to plant now. It looks like we're ready to go. Yeah, yeah, see, we got the, yeah, just the planter. Where is it? There we go. Oh, it's right here. Perfect. And I'm assuming we need some seed first. So let's see, we got a bunch of bags of seed. We got, looks like peas. No, we'll go with tomatoes. We'll go with tomatoes. And let's plant our tomatoes. Super, super simple. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. I like that very easy there we go we got our tomatoes planted already um so next thing is we need some water we need to find some water in here we got our watering cans once again same as before very slick very simple nice and easy oh it looks like we're empty again yep it looks like we're we're empty but you can see that's like a fairly straightforward way of of planting everything i can't pick up anything yet it's like it must be on a timer that uh we can pick up stuff out of these fields because I can't harvest anything right yet. It looks like we've got spraying going on right now as well. All right, so that's the main field there, just guys. <clears throat> Let's keep on moving down into the next area, which at least, oh, yeah, yeah, it's our house. This is our, our home area. We got the doggo. It's oh, a good dog. He's a good dog. Can we get him to eat? He doesn't want to eat. That's too bad. And then, of course, we've got all sorts of things we can kind of touch and click in here um, all over the place. I'm not sure if any of them will advance the storyline or advance the missions. I have no idea what the point of all of it is at this point in time, but we'll see if we can figure it out as we go. Once again, the collectibles are still all the same. So as we keep on clicking on through, over in the backyard here, we've got a bunch of toys. Like I said, everything you see, for the most part, you can adjust and click on, and move around, and do things with. So it is just, just a, a big playground, essentially. To, to mess around with. Um, I was wondering if I could get the pool to change color with whatever is the milk we have there. Flavored milk, I have no idea. But nothing seems to adjust that. Unfortunately, I was hoping we could really get it to, to change color there. 
but uh, as we go back into the living room again, all the way back through. Hey, I just noticed that our fireplace was off. Oh well. Um, there are stairs that go upstairs. You can see you click the button and we can go right upstairs. And more of the same for the most part here. It's not like there's a lot of uh, farm work that needs to happen, but we do have a lot of toys up here. And we can make them play with the toys, of course. Turn the TV on off. Um, UF UFOs. Okay. Let's put some of these toys away. And I think the uh, the inner dad in me is coming out right now because I want to put toys away in, the, in their box. Get them out of the way. I'm <laughs> just saying. And uh, i got a washroom over here. Bathtub. And that is about it for the second floor. All right. So that's... That's what you, what you got. Nothing, nothing too crazy here. A bunch of clickable things, but nothing, uh, nothing we weren't expecting, I guess. Let's move on out and let's go down to the last area, which is the market. And as we get into the market, I'm assuming, okay, there's a bunch of stuff we can we can just buy here, um, or I'm assuming we could probably sell some of our product as well. So that was be my understanding as anything we maybe harvested. We'd be able to sell in this point and then um, buy other products or buy other goods that we wanted to have in our house, potentially. We go over to this next screen, the swap shop. Yeah, so if we brought, for instance, our peas or carrots over here, we could uh, trade them for some other item. Hmm, interesting, okay. So that's our inventory list over there, which we have nothing yet, and uh, yeah, we'll be able to trade things out. Okay, let's go back over to the farm, because that's the only thing we've really made anything on so far if we move back on over here we can go and try to harvest again maybe now if it's been long enough i'm not sure if it's been long enough yet i haven't seen oh there we go we got some carrots now at least yeah so we can get into the end of this field now and i wish we could i wish we could harvest if we had a cult or uh, some kind of a, a harvester we could use in this I don't know if there's a way we could do that at some point in time oh but people can get inside the equipment now too i didn't know that there you go. So you can move guys around inside of it. Once again, there's a lot of, there's so many little details that we have to mess with to, and really to, to figure all this out. But you can move guys around left, right, and center, it seems like. Uh, we got the Toons Blast here. Trying to get the carrots back out of the field. Maybe the carrots are better when they, uh, when they have some music going on. So, anyways, guys, that's kind of it for Farm Some Kids. I don't quite know exactly what the missions are entitled or how to do them yet, but this is a kind of an overview or a quick look or a first look, I should say, on what you can expect when this game launches in just a couple days here. That's Farm Some Kids for you. So guys, there you have it. That is Farm Some Kids, at least our preview. Like I said, it comes out March 26th. I think I can put a link down in the description uh, if you guys want to pick this guy up. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Kind of interesting. Of course, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers, folks. See you next time.